So if you are experiencing some shoulder pains, you don't want an awesome circuit that I'm gonna show you. It's four exercises, rotator cuff, chest, your back, and even your posterior cuff. I'm also gonna throw in an additional bonus exercise, your inner thighs and hip health using a yoga block. So keep watching, you don't wanna miss it. So you wanna have a resistance band or a TheraBand and you're gonna attach it accordingly. So you want it to be about chest height. If you don't have a yoga block, then you can just use a book, a novel, whatever you prefer. So let's jump into it. So the block between my knees, what this is gonna do is gonna work our inner thighs isometrically. So if you have a lifestyle where you've been sitting more often than not, etc., then very likely those muscles may have become weaker and that ties into your hip. So let's also get that in the movement. All right, so I have the attachment. Basic rotator cuff, exercise number one. So I scoot out, this would be external rotation. Probably be seen very familiar. You, you're gonna wanna keep watching this video. So you're gonna see some things in a combination I'm very sure you have never seen before. So first things first, how many reps? You're gonna do either 10 reps for each arm, meaning external rotation for your left and right arm, 15 reps or 20. Whatever reps you choose, you're gonna carry that over for the other three exercises. So let's pretend I did 10 reps. Boom. And then I'm obviously holding on with this one. You don't have, if you wish, you can add the internal rotation exercise. That will make it five exercises. That's on you. Choose wisely. Next thing, what I'm gonna have, what I'm gonna do, hope I'm a little bit off. I still got that yoga block between my knees. So as I'm chit-chatting, giving instructions, I'm still working my inner thigh. This is a single arm chest fly. Exhale. So again, if I did 10 or 15 or 20 external rotation, I'm gonna do the same reps for this chest fly. So I start here, I have tension with the band, and then I stop here. So if you need an additional cue, you can have the opposite hand in front of your heart, and then you bring it to there, three, two, one, back. So that's exercise number two out of four. Exercise number three, this is a posterior cuff, one of my favorites, so it's one arm. This whole circuit is unilateral. So here, and I pull back. The height of my elbow is lined up with my shoulder. And then we would do, again, either 10, 15, or 20 reps. It's no joke. How does that look? Look from a forward position. Here. So I starting position, and then my wrist, my hand, lines up with my ear, or a little bit behind my ear without dropping my arm. So again, 10, 15, or 20 reps. Last exercise. All along, my friends, I'm working with my inner thighs. It's no joke. And if I fail to mention, your stance should be a quarter squat. So here. I start to do the one arm row. Exhale as I pull, inhale as I reach. Again, if it's 10, 15 reps or 20 reps you start with, that's what you wanna also carry it over to the last exercise. When you are doing your quarter stance squat with the yoga block, not standing, you wanna have your weight evenly distributed on your feet. Think of your foot as a tripod, you have your big toe, your little toe, and you have your heel, and your weight is distributed evenly across your feet in that fashion. So let's review really quickly the exercise prescription. You would do 10, 15, to 20 reps for each of those four exercises, or five if you did the internal rotation, and how many rounds, how many sets? Three rounds. Try to do it three times a week. So what do you think? Post your comments and don't forget to subscribe. <laughs>